Hello lovely people, uh, this is me again. Well, I'm not sure if you've seen any of my videos before, but um, I'm going to have a binder tour. So I decided to create this binder tour because I have decided to let go of my BTS merch. I've been a BTS fan since January of 2018. I've been collecting since February of 2018 and I pretty much stopped by the fourth quarter of 2021. So I'm not gonna get into details why I stopped collecting but what I can say is that I love the boys. I have nothing against them. Um, probably I grew apart from them. You know that's that's the easiest way I can explain it. So, I have gradually let go of my merch. I have a lot of collection. I have a lot of rare items. And at first, it was hard. At first, I sold the the items or the photo cards of, of the ones that that I don't collect. But then I started selling my biases photo cards. So I'm going to do this binder tour. Oops, my shadow. I'm going to do this binder tour before I let go of everything. Okay. So these are the first press inclusions. Um, this is from ORU Late 2. This is also from ORU Late 2. And then this one. You don't see these anymore. When you buy a new copy of o or you late to these are really um, first press material. Oh wait, sorry, my mistake. This is from or you late to, but these two I think are from Dark and Wild first press. So this is from School of Affair. You can still get them when you buy a new copy. This is the bookmark from um, what do you call this? Their exhibition in 2018. This is the standee from Now 2. And then let's go with the album photo cards. So, so far, I, I pretty much still have almost complete the complete photo cards of Jungkook. He's the only one I collect because it's not sustainable even from the beginning to collect everyone. So let's start with the very first photo card from or Are You Late 2. This is like a fan sign thing. I don't know exactly what it's called, but this is from the first press as well. I used to buy from eBay when I started collecting BTS. So I don't see these in local sellers. But I bought my first press ORI Late 2 from Netherlands. So I have these inclusions. So this is from Dark and Wild. As you can see, I have the collect photo cards. And this is the cake topper from BT21 when they when they opened back in 2018. So I'm like an an OG fan when they started becoming really big internationally. This is the bookmark from the uh, Brazil concert, Love Yourself. This is the P.O.B. from Butter. This is the photo card from O.R. Late 2. Oh, sorry. School of Affair. I'm getting them mixed up. I have the other version of this card. It's behind this J.K. Um, film strip. See? That's R.M. I'm not gonna, not gonna remove the J.K. P.O.B. This is a sticker I bought a long time ago. I just decided to put this in my binder for some reason. I didn't use it. This is the JK bookmark from the Love Yourself London DVD. This is the Now To bookmark from Now To. <laughs> and yeah, I think this is the ticket holder photo card from Wings. Um, the HYYH photo card group uh, group photo card the JK photo card this is the very first JK photo card I've ever owned so yeah if you've noticed I collect 
OT7 and Jungkook. Um, just a tip. If you're going to start collecting BTS and you want to save a bit of money, although if you collect Jungkook, good luck with that. Um, it's better if you buy the photo card first and then you buy the album later. I don't think I bought any sealed albums unless it's pre-order. So when I became a fan in 2018, my pre-order albums would be Love Yourself Tear. Because that's my first comeback with them. So this is the Young Forever Polaroids yeah, group and Jungkook. Young Forever is the best album for me. If I'm going to if I'm going to keep any of their albums, it would be the um, Young Forever albums and HYYH. Yeah. This is the Rakuten POB. Um, I don't really collect them. I don't know why, but I only have one. It just I just stumbled upon it, but they don't really come by or they, I don't really see them in in the marketplace for some reason by the way all of my photo cards are double sleeved in a non in an acid free binder sleeve too I'm using ultra pro so they look very unclear but trust me these are very well protected I'm very I'm very meticulous when it comes to storing my photo cards so this is the um, HYYH Part 2 photo cards, the Dope group photo card, the Jungkook Dope photo card, You Never Walk Alone group and Jungkook. Yeah, these are the other f extra photo cards from B. And the, the extra photo card from the Taiwan Press Wings, I bought this separately. I don't have a Taiwan Press Wings album. This is also the Polaroid from Wings and the group uh, photo card from Wings. Um, this is the um, postcard from the Rakuten POB from HYYH Part 1. I think this is from On Stage. Yeah, it's a photo set, but I think this is the only one I have because they're very... They're very rare, even during the time when I started collecting. Okay, so we're on to the Love Yourself era. So, I'm gonna have a bit of a hard time <laughs> letting go of these photo cards because this was the time when I became a fan. But, yeah, um, I don't know. So, this is from her era the tear era the answer era sorry to cut you off right there um i don't want to redo the binder tour but i forgot to mention this photo card this very 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 small photo card it's a luggage tag photo card it's from the love yourself tour it's one of their tour merch Again, this is very rare for some reason. I don't see these anymore. And this is the MPTR lenticular photo card. Although it's not very obvious. Let me just remove this. See? It's lenticular. It's one of their collaboration merch from 2019. I forgot to mention about this. I tend to focus on other photo cards when I'm doing a binder tour so I, I guess I've pretty much mentioned everything and so I'm just gonna flip through here while I'm trying to edit this video so what else should I say yeah I think this is it Okay, so back to the main video. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Oh, right. Um, this is the Winter Package 2020 booklet. This is the Summer Package 2019 booklet. Again, I don't really want to remove it from the binder sleeve because I'm just giving you a tour. I don't really need to, um, to demonstrate everything that's here. There are lots of unboxings. 
around YouTube. So I'm sure you're going to see what they look like. So there. Have a good day. Bye. And the Persona era. So from, from debut until the Persona era, that was a time when I collected both Jungkook and group photo cards without fail. However, by the time the pandemic started, which was the era also of Map of the Soul 7, I had a bit of a hard time collecting the Jungkook and the group, the group photo cards. I don't know why. Probably I have a lot of, um, I don't know, priorities, but I was constantly buying a lot of merch. So I have the um, version one photo card. Sorry for the shadow. My other hand is starting to hurt. Anyway, so just a trivia. I mentioned that I was a fan or I became a fan in January of 2018. Do you know when I started or do you know when was the first time I pulled Jungkook from an album or from any merch? It's during the Map of the Soul 7 era. So it's like more than two years later. Isn't that funny? And I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess he never liked me. I don't know. But yeah, this is the first time I pulled him. I was actually more surprised that I pulled him. So thank you, finally, for showing up. And then later on, he started showing up in my merch. So, yeah. Um, I don't have the version 2 Jungkook. It's a very sought-after photo card. I had opportunities before to buy it, but I don't know. I just, I think that was the time when I had a different attitude when it comes to collecting. Or I have a different behavior when it comes to collecting. So this is version 3. I don't have the version 4 Jungkook, but this is the group photo card. And then on with B. So B is their comeback to from 2020. I was lucky to get this pre-order benefit. I think I I bought the I, I bought 3 copies and out of the 3 I only got one Jungkook. Of course, I bought the deluxe version, and there's nothing really special about it. Well, of course, it's a special album. You know, it's a gift to fans. But what I mean is, photo card wise it's all equal. And there's no random, which is great. But of course, big hit at the time won't pass any opportunity to earn. I said what I said. <laughs> so, they they decided to release the essential version which is kind of like the same as the deluxe version actually if you're going to keep a b album keep the deluxe version because it has a better photo book and photo cards and just buy the random photo cards from essential if you really want everything so i remember this was very sought after. Like, people are over pricing this at the time. Like, crazy prices. Thank goodness I didn't have to deal with it because I, ha I have it without having much difficulty. But I can just imagine those people who are obsessively collecting Jungkook. They really had to shell out a lot of money and... You have my sympathies because I've been through there. I've been through that situation and it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so this is the group and Jungkook. So I traded my Jin photo card for the group one. I pulled this. So essential edition wasn't really difficult. Wait, my cat. Okay, there he is. <laughs> okay. And what's their next release? Oh, yeah. Butter. So, Butter, I completed the Lucky Draw cards. I didn't buy any Lucky Draw cards, by the way, from, from B. Because, first of all, I don't really like the photo cards, to be honest. And th at the same time, they're more expensive. So, yeah. And also, I have the group photo cards from Butter. I have the P.O.B. I don't have any Jungkook 
Um, I don't have any Jungkook random photo cards. So I think this is the time when I... This was the last time when I obsessively collected photo cards. So I bought a lot of a lot of butter sets from different stores just to complete the lucky draw cards. But out of those, I think I had 12 albums. I never pulled Jungkook, like a random photo card ever. So I think that was the time when I realized, you know what? You gotta stop, you know? <laughs> um, it's not worth it anymore. Because I've spent a lot on butter because of the these um, Lucky Draw photo cards. And in the end, since they're massively, massively produced, they're easy to find. So if I knew that's going to happen, I wouldn't have spent a lot. And so yeah, I think that was the time when I realized that I had to stop. So I didn't... I see some random photo cards of Jungkook for butter. If I was me from a couple of years ago, I would have bought them already. They're already in my binder, but I think I I've, I've changed during this time. I don't know. And I don't really feel bad for not completing the photo cards anymore. But before before map of the soul seven i really needed or wanted to complete the photo cards but now not anymore so yeah that's that i don't want to depress you but you know i'm telling my story while i'm doing this binder tour this is the i don't know if this is a pre-order benefit but japan has these photos when they sell their cd sets for their singles i'm missing the what's that fake love fake love uh photo i don't really see them as much when i was still collecting but nowadays i see them but of course you know i don't really need to buy it so it remains vacant and some postcards from persona and i have the complete jungkook set from bts world you know what i'm so surprised that bts world's ma uh, market price has gotten so high it's really astounding i'm i'm shocked because back then it's just it's sort of like an outlier album it's actually kind of optional really if you're a bts fan but if you're a collector you just had to have it it's not a bad album of course during this time, BTS didn't really come up with a bad album. This is from the second fan club package. And these are from... What's that? VT. Oh, I remember collecting these. That was back in 2018 when I was a new fan. By the way, if you've noticed, there are some missing photo cards here. This used to be filled with the third muster player cards and they're gone because i already sold them so that's why i decided to do this binder tour because there will be more photo cards that will be missing from this binder yeah <laughs> that's how it is um i don't know where this is from really i think this is from the ticket holder i don't know i don't remember anymore yeah but i got this when this was released yeah, sometimes as long as it's a Jungkook photo card, it's official, and I don't have it yet, I'm gonna buy it right away. That's how I was. This is the now to pre-order benefit. I don't have the solo Jungkook one. Um, even back then, now to alone, like the photo book, is already hard to find. So, the pre-order benefit is also hard to find. So I didn't get that. That's the only thing I'm missing from now to. And honestly, I think now too is one of the things I will keep from my collection because that's my favorite. Anyway, so this is from, or these are from, the second army kit. Yep. And 
these are from second muster i love the second muster photos they are so they look so down to earth they weren't worldwide uh they're not world world stars yet they're still very approachable i love that about them but you know all their success is very well deserved they are talented they are very hardworking and diligent to achieve what they have, have achieved these are from the first muster photo set there's a bit of a flaw on this side but you wouldn't find these regularly anymore unless you go deep diving in the web <laughs> but these are rare so yeah I have them uh, I'll consider selling them too someday and some photo sets from Wings. Um, this is the POB from Speak Yourself or Love Yourself DVD in Japan. Um, the the postcards from the Onyo exhibition. This is the photo from Memories of 2019 Blu-ray. I don't collect Blu-ray, by the way, so you won't see any Blu-ray photo cards here. And I didn't really attempt to collect them. So, these are some more photos from the Wings era. I love the, this concept, honestly. I miss this younger Jungkook, you know? <laughs> he's all... Well, he's always been grown up. When I met, quote-unquote, met Jungkook, he was 20. So, he's an adult. He's not a baby. But he's really grown <laughs> since I started liking BTS. So, from the 2018 season's greetings, um, I, I think that that is just a freebie I got. I just placed it there. Um, this is the Shibuya postcard. Some of these are rare, actually. Um, yeah, the third muster postcard, fourth muster postcard, fourth muster Japan post postcard, and fifth muster postcard. Yeah, I think this is from the Korean version. The third army kit photo cards, the Onyo, um, I think this is like a, a program or a yeah, um, I don't know. It's a booklet where you, you know, g get tickets to go to different parts of the museum. Yeah, and the standee from Love Yourself Tear, the hologram from, um, from what's that? BTS World. <laughs> um, this is the summer package 2018 and 2017 booklets they didn't have photo cards for these recent summer packages the for you pre-order benefits from japan for you is my favorite single from by bts in case you want to know <laughs> um these are the armypedia postcards Yes, they are complete, all 12, all 12 of them. This is the only postcard I have from 5th Muster. The New Year's Eve show postcard. The photo set from Speak Yourself. This is the Maknae Line photo card from Now One. A POB from BTS Journey. The, what's that? Oh dear, I forgot. It's one of their documentaries that was shown in theaters. Um, oh dear, I forgot. But yeah, it's a postcard. <laughs> um, this is the Discover Soul Pass. Um, they used to have these these Discover Soul Pass passes in 2019, I believe. Yeah. They're very rare too. <laughs> And the postcard from Third Muster. Postcards from t Third Muster. Um, yeah, this is just the ticket from the Six Must uh, Six Army Kit. The photo card from On Stage. The photo card from H Y Y H. 
DVDs, um, the Summer Package 2014 photo card, the Art Toy photo card, uh, the, that transparent photo card from Winter Package, the pajama photo card from B, I think. Yeah, the photo cards from the film, what's that? Film viewer. <laughs> the Jikook hologram photo card from from Fifth Muster. These these became very expensive. I don't know why. Yeah, but I, I bought this for a very for its normal price, but man, the the market price became really high. So oh thank goodness I don't have to pay a lot for this. Uh this is the um the baby photo from the 2019 season's greetings and this is uh from the fourth army kit this is the wings essay book clear photo card um the the what's that the merch pack uh the fifth army merch pack photo card and this is from the the third one i think or no this is from the third one and this is from the fifth one you know i'm not sure anymore and these are coasters from uh bts oh my gosh house of bts there you go see i have forgotten a lot of things already so this is just one of my binders I have more so this is just part one of my video so yeah um it's sort of like a walk through memory lane even though I have forgotten a few things already by the way sorry for the background noise so it's it's really nice to reminisce but yeah sometimes there are things that we just have to prioritize on and have to let go off but i've had good memories with bts and i hope to see them again live in concert someday so there um thank you for watching and have a good day bye